hopping right into it. Um, no fancy intros today. We're back with part two finally. Sorry for the delay. Passed a big milestone here on the Mirapaw Matt channel. We have 69 subscribers. All right. Um, so what I'm doing here is just taking off the, um, the spark plug wires. And we're going to get rid of these, uh, these coils in a second. It was time to start removing some bolts. The only thing is I left all my stuff out in my driveway overnight, so everything was frozen. So I did have this handy dandy heater and a magnetic pickup tool. So I, I roasted my, uh, roasted my bolts and my nuts, um, for about 20 minutes until everything melted. And then it was time to remove these harnesses that are attached to the back of the right-hand side uh, engine cover mount. And I ended up not removing everything, um, just, just really the stuff towards the back of the engine bay, because once you do that, you flip it out of the way and you're good. And then my socket was 400 degrees, so I needed to use a, uh, a rag to put it on my, my ratchet, so that was cool. I, uh, I'm not sure why I'm showing that to you, but don't you want to see this? So we're just about ready to start taking valve cover bolts out. These coolant hoses, they're kind of in your way here. So there are two clips and what I recommend doing, which worked for me is just releasing the one. And then there's the second one that you'll see here in just a second. And there you go. It's right there. Just gives you a little bit of space to play around with. So this PCV valve needs to come out right now. We've got two quick screws comes right out basic stuff here guys you got it this is the part of the video where we take valve cover bolts out listening to overly dramatic music I came from the mud there's dirt on my hands Strong like a tree There's roots where I stand Oh, I've been running from the law Hope they won't shoot me down soon So there is, um, there's a, like a little wire harness on the back of this valve cover. 
So I just threw a, a rag down there just to make sure nothing popped off and fell in. But after that, she's free. Well, valve covers are out and just open up the, um, the kit that I purchased online and I'll, I guess I'll leave a link, but, um, we've got four, uh, spark plug seals, one, two, three, four for each bank. Um, we've got, where'd it go? We've got these four, they threw in 30 of these, right? Because we're going to need uh, just under 28 of them for each of the bolts. That was super cool. I was wondering what we're going to do with those. So I wasn't expecting those. And then it came with the, um, the valve cover and solenoid seal, which is this guy over here and that guy over there. Uh, same part number, but... Um, yeah, same part number, but um, I think, yeah, anyway. Um, so uh, I'm going to basically uh, strip this stuff down and put it in with a little oil, and I don't think I'm going to record it because it's really not that interesting. Um, Okay, uh, the valve cover is back on and she is torqued to the best of my ability and I'm feeling good about her. Uh, there's one small tip that I wanted to give you. Um, you. Listen, you saw me wrestle with the bolts coming off. You just need a ton. That's my recommendation. Make sure you have a good variety of extensions. Wobbles are your friend in, in many of these cases. And in particular, the bolt that is down over here. This is probably the biggest, the toughest corner in this whole job on either bank. In order to get this bolt over here, um, you really need to kind of uh, come down this way. And then there is um, the HVAC line has a uh, like a foam cover on it, and you really need to wrestle with it to get the uh the 10 millimeter on this bolt but it can be done and once it's on there it's no problem it's just you need a couple of extensions and you sort of have to work blindly to get the uh extension on the bolt but it can be done all right so we're almost at install time workshop manual calls for two little dabs of um gasket maker uh i got a little issue with my um my gasket on this one I'm gonna fix that but that looks fine and one dab here and uh, another on the opposite side so reassembly time Ooh, that sugar sweet you got what I need sipping on the potion all that good emotion just my kind of heat keep it on me beep Testify the potion, loving this devotion. Live it up, live it up, live it up, sweet emotion. Every time, every night, you and I count a roll. Switch it up, switch it up, switch it up, where I'm going. Stay on the fly, just in time, know the right way to go.
And this was uh, the moment of truth. Um, so I'm about to start it up for the first time since everything's been apart. So, doesn't sound too bad. It's idling a little high, but usually it calms down. So, just giving it a few seconds here to see if it, how she sounds when uh, she's really at idle. Nice. Nice. Sounds pretty good. Terrible at all.